This is my Slacker Saturday review for The Cabin in the Woods. A seemingly generic slasher horror gore fest written by the director, uh, writer director of The Avengers and co-written and directed by the writer of Cloverfield. How did this bomb? In short, I feel that the production company really didn't sell it as it should have been. However, this film is very spoiler filled and that makes it much, that much harder to review as well as to promote. The film is very much a meta satire on horror films in general, and in that sense, it's hysterical, although as Scott Pilgrim and even The Expendables to some extent pr has proven, it's hard to sell a big film that fits one niche or demographic, video gamers, action dorks, etc. So, what worked about this film? Firstly, the dialogue was perfect as it was self-aware to the characters slash cliches that rep they represented, such as the stoner being witty, goofy, and occasionally altruistic, the jock being moronic and one of the first to make the bad and dangerous decisions, etc. Bad and dangerous decisions, etc. Much like any Whedon project, the dialogue is infinitely quotable, especially the lines delivered by the stoner character, Marty. The self-awareness is also very welcome, is also a very welcome treat. Being able to be the best meta comedy in my mind since Shaun of the Dead. Finally, the action and kills are both intense as well as effective. Although the film isn't scary per se, that's not the point of the film. The point of the film is to entertain and like most Sweden projects, it does that and far more. So, what does this movie do wrong? Honestly, in my opinion, not much. This is far and away one of my favorite films of all time. However, I do admit I do have a bias towards this film, given my fanboy love for horror and genre films, which this film abides. This has been uh, Kevin the Woods' review for Slacker Saturday. And you just watched it.